Hey, hello from New York. <laughs> um, so yesterday's travel day was not, um, it was fine. It was like not a big deal actually. Um, it's just, you know, travel days are hard. And then um, my camera like overheated because I think it was like on, but it was like stuck in between stuff. So it like the battery died and then it overheated. So I, I just didn't even bother to use my camera. Um, the rest of the day but yeah we got in like late afternoon we got back to the house to my parents house we ate dinner chilled Ailey has been having a blast she is so happy to be with her grandparents so that's really nice she's having so much fun so um yes so it is the next day um and I'm currently in the Target parking lot. Um, there's like a few things I need to pick up that I knew I was gonna pick up here that I didn't want to bring or pack or whatever. And then also a few um, little necessities that I didn't realize I was gonna need. So I'm just picking up that stuff. So we're going to head to Target and maybe look around a little bit. We love a solo Target trip. It doesn't happen very often. So we're gonna take advantage. But anyway, so let's go. Okay, we're back from Target. Picked up a few things I wanted to show. We got some cute outfits for my new nephew. So we have this little set, this super cute set. A bunch of Grogu onesies. Is that a potty seat? Ailey's potty seat. A couple of toys. Um, got some vitamins, a hair treatment spray, a cleanser because I didn't realize I didn't have one. A little dress for Ailey. Whoa. That'd be cute for 4th of July. Cute? You like it? Yes? Yes. Um, and then I did also pick up like some groceries, a little bit of groceries. And what else did I like, get? Oh, and some diapers um, for my nephew. So anyway. Um, we are going to get ready to go out again, but this time Ailey's coming. Go, um, go into Queens and probably get some lunch out there. So anyway, that's the check-in for now. back home 
Um, it was a good day out. We were um, able to pick up things. I don't even know if I said this was the reason why I wanted to go out to Flushing today. Um, as I wanted to find some like Korean like um, learning like tools, um, but like that were still fun for Ailey. So I did show which ones I got, but I'll, this one we actually opened up. This is um, this is like a pink fong like uh, I don't even know what you call this like a sound thing. So it has like the Korean alphabet. And you can change like whichever like subject or category whatever there's some ones that play songs down here and like um at some point like if she gets good at it you can do like guessing games that's what these like different categories are up here but super cute really nice quality um extremely overpriced here in america um because this i guess it's just not easy to get so everything's super expensive so if you can get your hands on things like this from Korea, I would recommend that because they were really expensive. But Ailey was lucky enough to be gifted them by her grandparents. So um, I am more grateful for that for sure. <laughs> but, and it came with a little book um, that basically kind of says the same stuff has like the alphabet with like the little different things and the song lyrics and stuff. So. This was cute. And then we also got this little baby shark um, like song player. So it has like, you can see like a bunch of different cards that you can just put into, oh, <laughs> I just pressed the button, oops. Okay, um, but yeah, so then you just put the card into the little player and it'll sing it, all the songs are in Korean. So that's gonna be fun for her. Um, and then this is kind of like the most like learning learning tool are flashcards. So they're all, they all have pictures. Sorry, the sun's like right there. Um, but they all have pictures of whatever it is and then the word in Korean. And then they also have the word in English. Am I pointing at it? Oh yeah, it's like in there. But so, but this is also like ping pong themed. Um, so I think this will be really fun. And this has things animals um vehicles food the letters and then it also has numbers shapes and colors so it should have everything it's 120 flashcards so we'll we'll hopefully have some fun with this um i think it'll definitely have to be like an activity i'll figure out how to like make it super fun for her but i really i'm so the whole point was to get things like this because they're, they're actually not that easy to come by in Vegas. I thought it might be a little bit easier in Vegas. Just, I don't know why. I just thought it, it would be. But um, so that's why I wanted to get a few things just to kind of help with the Korean learning process until I can figure out a better um, way to get her to learn Korean. Because um, if you don't know, I am Korean, uh, Korean American, but I am not fluent. Like I can speak it and understand it enough um, to get by and I can read and write, but I'm not fluent and there's like a lot of vocabulary I don't know and I'm definitely not, I am in no position to teach anyone <laughs> how to speak or read or write Korean. So um, I would love to find like um, a Korean school in Vegas, hopefully, but I mean, we'll figure that out eventually. But Anyway, I wanted to kind of give her a little heads up, not a heads up, a head start, um, and just really just introduce her to recognizing Korean, um, the way that she recognizes like her letters and numbers now, and just kind of get her comfortable with that. Cause she does, she does know a few words and phrases for sure. It's just, um, you know, not, not enough. And I want her to know more. <laughs> anyway, that was the point of that. So. Yeah, so after um, we picked up those things, we um, got some lunch, we got some Korean food, and we came back home. Um, so we are now just going to chill for the rest of the day. We have nothing planned. Bernard's going to be home kind of late. Um, he does go into the office when we were in New York. Um, so yeah, nothing planned. So I'm just going to call the end of this travel day slash first day back in New York vlog um i hope you enjoyed and definitely stay tuned for more new york family fun vlogs all those things <laughs> all right see you in the next one bye just loving this moment can we stay here forever